and welcome to coffee with my sunshine and thank you so much for coming by for another using trash to create treasure challenge where i create beautiful home decor from actual trash and recyclable items so for mine i am starting with this scrap piece of barn wood this kitty litter container with a home depot lid and i'm having my husband and my son help me my son is um, using the saw right now and the only reason we're using this saw is because we got it out to cut a circle. So I know this isn't typically the saw you would use for straight lines, but you know, it works. Mm -hmm. So I want these boards cut in half because I want um, kind of like a seat for the top of the kitty litter container and just um, the width of the one board wasn't enough. So that's why we're using two and we're just going to cut, um, each part of the circle out from both boards and my son started doing this and he wasn't comfortable doing the curved line so my husband took over and I am not good with the saw at all I, I just cannot steer it <laughs> so that's going to be the circle for the top of the kitty litter container and I wanted to mention each month for my Using Trash to Create Treasure Challenge, I have a new co-host and this month's co-host is Heidi Sambel from Heidi Sambel DIY. She is one of my very good friends here on YouTube and she does some excellent DIYs. If you're into Dollar Tree, Farmhouse, Thrift, thrift Flips, you will just adore her. And after you're done watching my video, head on over to her channel, show her some love, subscribe, and tell her I sent you. Also, don't, don't forget to check out the playlist listed in my description box. Basically, this challenge is taking anything from the trash or recyclable items and turning it into home decor, something useful, anything to keep it out of the landfill and give it a second life. So I hope you guys enjoy. So back to these projects, my son is cutting these strips for me and uh, my husband is also cutting a little bit thicker strips from the scrap pieces of wood that I had. after those strips of wood were cut I am going to assemble them because these are going to be a tray and I wanted two different tones or um, textures on this tray so I'm going to be alternating um, pieces and this one's really simple all you have to do after you get it laid out how you want you just take some wood glue and slap a good amount on and then use a clamp to tighten it down. I let mine sit overnight and it was hard as a rock when I got up. <laughs> For the kitty litter topper, I am taking those wood round or wood pieces and gluing them together in the center. And I didn't have a clamp, so I kind of a clamp big enough. So I kind of made my own out of a couple bricks and a um, what are they called? Bungee cord. <laughs> and it seemed to work out really well because it was super strong when I woke up. So. This is the kitty litter container I'm going to use. I'm just taking it and cleaning it up a little bit and spray painting it black. Mm -hmm. 
For the lid, I didn't think I needed to spray paint the top because you're not going to see it. I just wanted the very edges of it because you will see that. As that was drying, I sanded the top of um, the litter container and the tray. And as of right now, these two stains are my favorite. It's um, pickled oak and early American. I love layering stains because I can never find one that is perfect. <laughs> so I start with the pickled oak. And then I don't even wait for it to dry. I layer over the um, Early American. And I think they turned out so pretty. I just love this color. It's like an actual wood color. It's not too gray. It's not too brown or orange. So then after that dried, I just um, flipped it over and put the litter container or litter lid underneath and screwed it in and screwed it onto the wood. And I thought this would be perfect for like when I'm pulling weeds or something because sometimes I want something to sit on because it just hurts my knees to be kneeling so long. And also I can keep my tools in there like... Um, you know, I like the little, what are they called? The little snips and the little shovels and gloves. And it's perfect to just carry around while you're working in your garden or your flower beds. Then for the tray, I looked all over because I had just gotten some um, like antique candles. I got them from a garage sale and I could not find them anywhere. <laughs> So my husband gave me the idea, since we were getting rid of some old kitchen cupboards, he said to just take the handles or the knobs off of the cupboards, and it worked out perfect. He just drilled a couple holes on the sides, and we had to um, kind of make an indention, I don't know what it's called, so that the um, screw from the knob actually went far enough in to attach the knob on the top, if that makes sense. And I actually think it looks really cool with the knobs and it works perfect as handles. I think it's so pretty. Let me know what you guys think of the two different textures on the tray and the handles. Then next for the bucket, I am taking some of this metallic paint in copper and bronze and painting the handle. And I think it looks so cute. It's going to be great for working outside or really anything. You can, I don't know, you can store anything in there. We have another one that I made um, probably a year ago now that we keep like bird seed in it and stuff. 
Next, I am using this Brewmate container. I think that's what it's called. Um, it keeps like your drinks cold, <laughs> which if you drink anything in cans, these are awesome. They work great and they're super cute. But I thought the shape of the container was really cute and I wanted to keep the top of it because I liked the pattern on here. So I'm just cutting the bottom out and we're going to actually make the top the bottom, <laughs> if that makes sense. And I'm taking some of this paint, it's called Sea Salt. It's the paint that we have actually in our sunroom. I think it's so pretty. And I'm just giving it two coats and putting the top or bottom back on. And this can be used for to like put vases in or um, faux flowers. I think it's super pretty, especially on the tray. And then I'm doing the same thing with a smaller one and I'm painting it yellow. And I think they're just so cute. This kind of gives you like a mid-century modern look to it. And I also used a, um, I think it's a ginger beer bottle for that other flower. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this and got some ideas on how to keep trash out of the landfill and just some decor ideas. Don't forget to check out Heidi's channel and the playlist in the description box. And if you're new to my channel, I would love for you to join my YouTube family. Thanks so much for all your love and support, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!